Om Shanti and welcome back to your own channel. Seek the soul, the truth lies within, and we are here with the 361st day of Akali blessing. Where God is helping us to understand that why is it important to always be in a loving form or as a loving image, and what are the benefits from that? Let's find that out. In the heading, Baba says, "May you become a loving image by transforming your fierce, fiery form with your cool form of love. May you become a loving image by transforming your fierce, fiery form with your cool form of love." The explanation goes like this: In return for your love, the Father, the bestower of blessings. gives you the blessing in return for your love the father the bestower of blessings gives you the blessing may you be a loving image the blessing is may you be a loving image at every moment somebody who has got love for god a soul who loves god will love every creation of god whether it's five elements whether it's souls whether it's animal souls human souls that soul is going to love everything and everybody so may you be a loving image at every moment for every soul and in every situation never abandon or forget your loving image we are children of god god is a loving image supreme loving image and since we are his children we are supposed to be master loving image also never abandon or forget your loving image your loving face loving image means i am a loving soul loving face your loving interactions connections and relationship of love this is we are talking about spiritual love no matter how fearsome a person we may face situations in our life from our friends relatives colleagues at workplace a person a boss subordinate or anybody could be coming in a fearsome way or manner and facing us and it could be matter also five elements too when it's extreme cold extreme hot there could be an earthquake there could be a landslide and we generally say negative about it it's too cold why is it so cold damn it's so cold that is also giving wrong vibrations wrong energy to the five elements not just souls even to the five elements so when we give away negative energy to the five elements we actually telling the five elements or telling that soul that you are in control of my emotions i am giving my control over to you not just that we step down from the seat of a king who's always in control always at peace and we step down and we remove a crown of peace crown of happiness and we become like a commoner so god says don't leave your throne also of peace and contentment and happiness within by allowing others to take over your emotions or allowing others to take over your peace your happiness and how do we allow others to take away our peace and happiness how do we allow matter how do we allow matter to take away our peace and happiness when some kind of disturbance some kind of a fearsome form they show we give in that means we also change the same way they become fearsome we also become fearsome instead of being loving so that means we are giving in to them god says don't let that happen don't let your peace don't let your loving nature go away because that is your karma that is your original form and god says he is reminding us so even if they come in front of you in the fiery forms constantly continue to transform them with the coolness of love that means we should have good wishes for five elements also for water for earth for air for sky element and for wind so we should have good wishes for them even during typhoons we should pray for the five elements not just not just for the souls that may their homes not get destroyed in that but even for the five elements because they are in upheaval because of us So God says, even have a loving image towards wind, towards water, towards all the other elements, and along with them, the souls. 
create a world of love with your loving drishti drishti means vision the way you look at things so in a situation where it's very one can look at it in a loving way kind way and somebody on the other hand can look at it in a angry frustrated irritated way that is our own internal state of mind and god says control that and transform that in a loving state and then god says create a world of love with your loving drishti attitude and actions so this is the homework in the blessing which god has given us when we do this and if you face anybody tomorrow or in the next moment any person who comes and shouts at you gets angry with you or shows a fearsome form then try to be loving kind first thing is try to be tolerant try to keep quiet and in your mind have good wishes for that soul or that element or that situation and that will make you be at peace that will make you come at stability and from there you can take the next action so with this blessing have a blessed good night om shanti mm-hmm.